5,375 pounds, the Couples Camping Compact Dream Machine 2507S Rockwood Mini Light here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And that weight, mind you, is in what we call the premium package, which essentially has pretty much every option and upgrade applied to it, versus the more basic uh, essentials edition that we'll also bring in here at Haywood RV that'll be a little less weight, a little less feature, but a little less money. So we kind of let you pick your own adventure. And as always, I really welcome you folks to chime in and let us know how do you like your Rockwood and how would you like it best. Part of Rockwood's Murphy bed design is that you basically have to have the bed put away when the slide is closed. But it's because they have this extended slide out here with all this extra storage that we'll see later. Now, one of the things that's really cool on this model is that other than the bed, which, if you have to make a travel stop and sleep, you could always utilize this dinette right here. Other than that, the, that though, you have normal, full access to everything. You can walk through here if need be. You can get to that fridge. You can get to the huge pantry that we'll see. Obviously, you can get back to the bathroom. So it's actually a pretty good traveling model. If you're familiar with it, the front end and the kitchen of this are an exact duplicate of what you'd find in the 2509S Rockwood Mini Light, which is essentially this camper but with bunks, so they basically build it both ways. What's nice here, though, is the Rockwood Touches, and that's really what separates brands. So many other manufacturers have attempted to build something like this, but they just aren't willing to do the little things that it takes to be like Rockwood. Like, for instance, over here, they, they took kind of a brave step, and they eliminated an overhead kitchen cabinet, which sounds scary, but you are going to see that this thing has more storage gained than lost as a result. But what that creates is a super easy viewing entertainment center, because that TV's on a swing arm bracket, so if you want, you can make it face over at the dining area, you can make it face the front sort of cinema sofa here, and that is another of those Rockwood touches. The Murphy Cinema Sofa set up here. Um, you've got these dual kind of recliner kickouts that pop out there. Then you have those dual removable swivel side stands. So if you want a place to be able to, you know, set a drink, work on a little tablet or Surface Pro or something like that, you can. But, of course, at the end of the day, you've got that safety locking Murphy bed system here just waiting for you to drop the bed and crash out. And Rockwood has really shown themselves as, you know, the, the hands-down leader in, in terms of Murphy beds. They build more of them, and uh, more people are seeking Murphy beds from Rockwood than any other brand out there, and for good reason. They're kind of the ones that popularize the concept. Way back in 2010, Rockwood dropped the first one-piece Murphy bed like we see here onto the marketplace instead of a folding bendy bed, and everybody laughed at them. Two years later, everybody was trying to chase to catch up. But I want to draw your attention to why their Murphy bed is so good. First of all, you see that double V buckle strap thing right there? This is a one piece, easy up down gas strut assisted mattress. So you can just keep all the bedding strapped in place. You uh, don't have to make the bed every morning, every night, and isn't ease and simplicity supposed to be part of the equation? Kind of along those lines, if you look at those side stands, remember those swivel sofa side stands that we talked about? You can just turn them out of the way. You don't even need to remove them to put the bed up and down. Uh, additionally, you still have dresser drawers and a hanging closet on both sides of that bed. So uh, <laughs> you've got normal bedroom lighting, normal bedroom storage. But it goes deeper than that. Once again, Rockwood touches are just absolutely fantastic. If I get over here in the shadows, this side stand, you see household and USB plugs. And that's great. They're easy to reach. But up here, you see how they now have a full true headboard, and up in this corner, they have household outlets. So that CPAP users could have their machine right up by their head, so that when you're doing your Darth Vader routine, so that you can actually breathe at night and not die, which is admirable of you, obviously, um, you can, uh, you don't have to have your hose strung all over the place. And it's just, it's those little details that separate this brand from so so many others, you know, they're just so involved in the details and every year they push, evolve and get a little bit better. Something a lot of producers of Murphy beds also seem to forget 
is even though it is an open concept, which makes the whole room look bigger, that's sort of the point of Murphy beds. It gives us the space and seating of a super slide RV without the weight and cost of a super slide RV. Rockwood still includes a privacy curtain because if you have a guest over here in this height of, or not height of bed, you dinette, which we'll see down in a minute, probably at night you're going to want that little visual break point. Now I've got the lights on behind it and you can barely see them shining through. There's a thick heavy blackout curtain right there. So you really, you're going to hear each other but you're not going to see each other. And we see it up and down and open and close like that. It makes a heck of a difference, doesn't it? Now we talked about this a little bit earlier when the slide was closed. How that extra storage right there is built right into the side. We're going to open that in just a second. Um, but as we come over here, I want to first look at the dinette. You got that breeze window over there, and this is what I call a true U dinette. It is larger. It's like a seven foot dinette with a fully free floating table. So that if you want to flip it up out of the way, flip it down, fold it down like a coffee table to use in front of the Murphy sofa, or even take it outside for picnic time, you can do whatever you want with this thing. But as I keep mentioning, it does fold down into a big sleeping space. And once again, where that's handy is this is a couple's camper, but it has a nice guest sleeping area here, whether it's for a small or large guest, or maybe just a couple big giant dogs. I know a lot of people go pet camping instead of hotels that won't allow our four-legged furry friends because they don't realize that those are family too, but we do here at Haylet RV. Uh, but once again, as I keep saying, this thing has tons of storage in it. We'll start down here at the bottom and work our way up and around. You can see both ends of the dinette have easy access here. And that table obviously flips right up out of the way. In theory, you could lift up all the cushions to get to that storage, but you're going to find that you don't have to. We'll talk more about that when we go outside the RV, where Rockwood gives us an outside access point to that uh, uh, rear bench storage there. Now you see a hanging rod up there. That's because these are removable right here. So you can take out one or two or all three of those and have as tall or as short of a hanging space as you desire or just use it for additional pantry space. Again, that is kind of standardized off the build model of the 2509S. I think you'll find that you aren't going to be short of pantry space in this RV at all. Or it could just be extra dresser space. A lot of brands have sacrificed overhead storage in recent years. Rockwood continues to do that. And whether you're getting the raised panel hardwood maple cabinet doors that you're seeing here, or the flat panel insert slate wood cabinet doors, uh, that is the standard interior build, either way, you still have pocket screwed uh, cabinetry that is that longer lasting variety, basically not stable particle board. Now, as we go in here, if you do yourself a little magic wave, you can activate the motion sensor within the pantry. And this is what I was talking about. Instead of putting the entertainment center here with a couple super shallow, barely DVD depth joke of a cabinet, uh, you have this uh, just, just huge, just absolutely huge storage area. And then again, the Rockwood touches the little little door jam uh, stopper right there, the Flappy Doodle 9000 series, so that you don't smash the door against the bathroom door and damage things. Now, while we're looking up top here, I want to point out that we have a uh, the ability to upgrade this to a larger 15,000 BTU uh, uh, centralized air conditioner. But no matter what size you get, it will always have the dual duct AC runs that you're seeing here in this Rockwood. Like if I look right above us, you can see that you've got one here and one there, and obviously they can be open and controlled individually. Remember how I said that TV can pivot around for easy viewing? This is exactly what I meant. There's not a bad seat in the house. And our entertainment unit is DVD, Bluetooth, and it's HDMI friendly with some expansion plugs right there if you have extra things you want to enjoy. Big kitchen breeze window here, kind of frames that up nicely. Gives you a good campsite viewing. Um, and that is a larger eight cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer versus a conventional six cubic foot. You still find out there quite a bit. Now a mini light here, it's one of the, the smaller things that Rockwood builds and it still has solid surface counters, still has sink covers. That uh, extension leaf right there is awesome for prep space, but they give us big doors for easy access to that storage space. And as I wrap around the corner here, one of the other things you see is more like easy access drawer space because that's something we haven't seen a lot in the kitchen so far is actual drawers. Also, it's not just a recessed sink, it's a nice recessed stainless sink. And then they are also using a larger 22 inch oven right there versus a conventional 16 inch camper oven. The idea 
is if you actually want to do some real cooking, you got biscuits or whatever in the morning, you can actually do some cooking in a rockwood. And as we work our way over to the bathroom, I want to point out no floor vents in your rockwood mini lights. They use cabinet ducted heating and obviously they've got plenty of storage. So that's the only hiccup with cabinet ducted heating is you can lose a bit of storage space. They have another of the little flappy dooter jobs over there to make sure the bathroom door doesn't hit the fridge door. God, they're just everything. They're on top of everything. And as if we haven't seen enough storage, I'm tired of saying the word. You're probably tired of hearing my nasally annoying voice talk about it. We get in here in the bathroom, walk around the corner, and more storage. This is one of the only RVs where I wonder if you can actually pack enough stuff in it to overload the axles. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think anyone's going to. But seriously, it's just like, it just never quits in here. But bathroom storage is something Rockwood's always been very good about. You can see they uh, are opted for the larger radius shower right here versus a conventional travel trailer tub. So it's easy in, easy out. You've got plenty of floor space in here because the neat thing is the bathroom is made to be big because right behind that wall is the outside camp kitchen. So it's actually the camp kitchen that is partially shaping the huge size of this bathroom. No matter what though, whether it's a Geo Pro all the way up through Rockwood Signature Series, you get the larger Max Air vent fans. And if I get the camera right up in there at the right angle, you can see the fins of that roof vent cover. This thing is awesome for providing some superior whole house airflow. Now, historically, this above the camp kitchen used to just be one giant open cabinet. And this two-thirds section, it actually wraps around the corner a little bit, and there's a motion light in there, by the way. It still is a giant open section, so you can really kind of customize that storage how you want. It's huge, though. But what is smart is how they kind of made this dedicated bathroom storage. I think this is perfect right here for like a couple extra toiletries or whatnot. Stuff that you're not going to need every day, like extra body wash. It's just, it's, it's awesome how much they pack into this thing. And if it's a searing hot day, like it is today in sunny southern Michigan, you are going to appreciate that optional white skin package with those pretty gray accents that we're looking at here. That's right, I said pretty. Don't worry, I'll go eat some raw meat and hang a sheet rock around an engine I'm rebuilding later, get my man card back. Don't worry about it, all right? it's my problem, not yours. But, back to the task at hand, it will be much cooler inside the camper with a lighter skin palette. It also has a matching lighter uh, roof uh, membrane to go along with that. Now remember you uh, will find when we do our premium packages here at Halid RV, it also has not only that bigger AC to keep you cool, but also that protective slide awning that popped into view just as if on cue over here. It is doing more than just protecting the RV. It is also shading the top of that slide in the same way the awning shades you when you sit under it. Now, up front here, we have an automotive windshield, and it's just that, a windshield, not a window. It has a privacy shade internally, but obviously, very heavy tinted. You're not really seeing in any of the windows on this one. Up front, we have uh, the bigger 30-pound propane tanks, which is rather uncommon in smaller, lightweight trailers, and uh, that gives you that ad additional kind of time between tank swap-outs. Now, take a look at the outside storage. We will look through the pass-through here in a few minutes. Actually, we might as well look at it right now, right, since we're standing right here. This is actually under the sofa is what we're looking at, but they just don't waste anything. Every little nook and cranny and pocket they can, they open up, which includes storage right on the face of the slide here. So we actually have four different compartments available to us right here within like two or three steps of one another. So this tall drink of water right here is actually behind that bonus closet pantry that we saw within the slide out. And this compartment door, even this has a magnet hold back note, um, is what is behind the rear dinette bench. And as you get down here, as I mentioned inside, I think I did, I can't remember. It's hot and I've done a lot of video work today and I don't know what I've said where anymore. Um, you can see that is all tubular aluminum constructed. Over here, we have four wheel independent suspension. Not just torsion axles, but torsion suspension as well. And where this is really going to be nice, guys, is it helps prevent the trailer from body rolling. So if you're going around a corner at high speeds, it'll hold its position. It'll help the trailer stay flat and level. Additionally, this trailer, like uh, all Rockwoods now, whether it's a Geo Pro, a Mini like this one, an Ultra or a Signature trailer or fifth wheel, they all have a tire pressure monitor system included with them from Rockwood. Um, and it comes with a nice little color display handheld monitor you can have inside the RV. If you feel like it's tracking a little funny, you can take a glance at that and I don't know, maybe something's going on, you gotta check the tires. 
all LED tail and marker lighting above that backup camera prep right there. On the rear wall, we have a full outside shower as well as our black tank flush next to that spare tire and a two inch receiver hitch right here so that if you wanna add things like bike racks or uh, a cargo tray for a small generator, you have the perfect place to do that now. Now they have, well, kind of changed very slightly the uh, the complement that they have to their outside camp kitchen. Before we get there though, look at that awning. It goes dead against that rear wall and it goes all the way up to where the nose tapers. There is no way to put a bigger awning on this RV. And it even clears the full outside camp kitchen, which is well, a lot of times when a manufacturer has a larger uh, baggage door covering the camp kitchen like this, they will say, well, no, that counts as coverage. Not Rockwood, that's what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They always go a little further, a little harder. Now this would have, in previous years, come with an outside gas grill in addition to the little two burner stove top here so you could cook main dish and sides all outside at once. Recently though, they have swapped over to these handy suburban uh, griddle systems here. Now the griddle, when it's actually opened and set up, will mount on these brackets, which then hang on the rear bar. I simply have the box the griddle comes in sitting on top for quick display purposes. This RV has not run through our full shop setup yet. I literally caught this camper coming straight off the RV delivery driver's truck. And <clears throat> like Rockwood has done, a lot of brands used to do this and then they quit, I think because it probably cost a dollar more, I don't know. But the stovetop here swings out. So it's there when you need it. And then you just grab that little galvanized steel counter and it's gone if you don't want it there. So it can be prep space, it can be hidden away, you can do whatever you want with it. So we got that eight cubic foot fridge inside, plus a three point whatever cubic fridge outside. It's got nearly 12 cubic foot of total cold storage, which is like fifth wheel level. More and more RVs are getting bigger cold storage capacities, and I am thankful for that. You have the same kind of cabinetry out here that you saw inside, and there is a full viewing light out there. I just don't have light turned on. And that is a real sink. Not, uh, not just a dog dish with a real drain into a holding tank, so it's not just going to dribble onto the ground. Next to that, we have, if you want to, you can dismount the interior TV, and it can mount on that bracket above the refrigerator vent with the TV hookups right there. And, as always, Rockwoods include these handy galvanized rolled steel kind of little utility shelf things. They're always handy. You'll always find something to do with them. Um, there's really no downside to them, and again, it's... You can just remove it if you don't want it there. And as we back up, I want to point out that this uh, camper has an anti-slam entry door with that larger folding handle and those more ride stable steps you see right there. Those are the easy lift variety. On a Rockwood, whenever you uh, move to a triple step entry, it will be the kind of steps that will hold themselves up in the air on their own, not the steps that will fall down, hit your head, crush your dog, break your foot, etc. These are the, uh, you know, if you've got a bad rotator cuff or you've had elbow surgery or something like that, these are the ones that are far, far easier to work with. And since they're doing the weight of supporting you as you come in and out, it'll really take a lot of that rock and roll and herky-jerkiness out of the camper when people bop in and out. I think I said in and out like three times, but again, it's hot. I'm tired. We've had uh, I lost, I think 18 new trailers come in today. I have, the camera's just like smoking hot in my hand right now. It's been on fire all day. All right, anyway, back to the point. This is a fully aluminum skeleton product. It has a plywood, 5 8 tongue ply, uh, 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 that should probably go in the highlight reel. Let me start over. This is an all aluminum skeleton product. It is all laminated with the exception of the floor. And that is a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood deck with aluminum studs uh, below that. Whew, there, we got it. All right, back up top here. One of the things I like about Rockwood roofing, it is so solid. It is so solid. You walk around here, it looks good. And another thing, um, our, uh, our check-in kind of initial quality control specialist said something to me earlier today, and it really kind of made me go, hmm. And it really spoke volumes to how well Rockwood does so consistently. He said, you know, Every now and then I'll see a trailer come in and like there's a little bubble in the roof membrane and I hate that and, I, and that's not the kind of thing we tolerate at Halet RV. We tell the manufacturer you need to fix that before we'll accept it here. That's why like if you look over here, we're actually quality control inspecting that Montana fifth wheel before we accept it and let it off the driver's truck. That's just what we do. We don't charge you extra fees to do that at Halet RV. But more to the point, he literally said to me, I wish I could send a picture of a Rockwood roof to some 
people and say this is how it's supposed to look. Now it's not a frequent problem we have here at Halid RV, but it just really struck me that he pointed out and he specifically specified how well Rockwoods are put together so consistently. And I think it really speaks volumes to this brand. Um, the Wi-Fi Ranger system up here, basically this RV has a built-in router is what we're looking at. Although uh, you can upgrade that to get LTE signal to it and then it'll rebroadcast via Wi-Fi to your local campsite and give you more mobile data connectivity. And over here, a couple of neat things. Max Air vent cover for the bathroom vent fan. And notice how that skylight is on a weird 45 degree angle. That's not normal because most of the time an RV manufacturer is trying to squeeze that skylight in between a set of roof studs. That's not the problem here in a laminated roof. There's, there's not studs like every 12 inches or something like that. So they can put that wherever they want, however they want, and that allows them to place it dead above the shower head to always maximize your total uh, you know, walk-in height. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Hopefully it's cooler where you are at than where I am on top of this rockwood right now. <laughs> but obviously, we don't let that stop us here at Halet RV, and we want to make sure that you're getting the good information regardless of what the weather's throwing at us. Because the thing is, um, that's part of camping. You just kind of roll with the punches, you roll with the weather as you go. And I think we get that pretty well at Halet RV, considering most of our staff here are actual RVers themselves. And I think that's part of what separates a lot of our team from a lot of places. I'm not saying other people are bad or stupid or whatever. I'm just saying our folks have a unique level of insight, not often found at most sales-based uh, facilities. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we do it all at Halet RV, except for hidden dealer fees. We leave those to the big box stores. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.